oh my goodness wow well i'm not one to complain very often like seriously but this order i just dropped off was unacceptable holy cow i just have to vent and i'm, I'm curious if any of y'all have experienced something like this so basically okay at 6 45 i receive an order for sushi train it's 19.50 for like seven miles looks good right i'm like sweet great order sushi I go to Sushi Train, they say 10 to 15 minute wait. And I'm like, okay, I'll wait 10 to 15 minutes. The lady was straight up lying. It was not 10 to 20 minutes. It ended up being one hour. I ended up having enough time to drop off another stacked order I had with me. I dropped that order off, I came back. I finally got the food. One hour later, y'all, one hour I got this sushi order, okay? Oh my goodness. And then I start driving to the customer's location. Holy cow, seven miles, right? Not too bad of a drop off. I get there, I call the customer. I say, hey, I have your order that I've waited one hour for and I'm at the address you provided. Sure enough, customer says, "You, that's completely the incorrect address. We're at this address that is, guess what? Eight miles, the same direction I just came. Back. It was probably a two to three mile drop off originally from the place I picked up to their drop off. And yet I, I drove seven miles out. It might, it might've been eight, seven or eight miles. And I and drove the same amount of miles back plus one or two. It really just threw me off y'all. Oh my gosh. Like I was, ah, cannot believe it. Oh my gosh, it just threw me off y'all. I was making this Easter dinner dash video for you guys and this happened and it was a two hour ordeal. I accepted the order at 6.45, it's currently 8.45 on Easter Sunday. I dropped the order off. She didn't even answer the phone when I called her four times <laughs> at the address she gave me over the phone. And I just left it there because it's leaving my door order. So I took the picture and I'm gone. And I cannot believe it took me two hours the tip was good. I cannot complain about the tip. It's a $22 tip. It ended up being like $28 payout. And it took me two hours. Gosh. And I just wasted a heck of a lot of miles on my car. <sighs> Unacceptable. I talked to support. They said, if you don't want to drop it off, you can give it back to the merchant. And I said, you know what? If I'm driving back, I might as well drop it off and get the pay. God damn. I don't know if you guys have experienced something like this before. If you have, like, drop it in the comments. I want to hear some horror dash stories you guys have. Because this was bad. This was real bad. I have not had an order situation this terrible in 2,000 plus deliveries. And I just can't believe it. So, it is what it is. It's life. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, and see what your guys' hot takes are. And, uh. If I'm just being a whiner about it, which I very well may be, but I just thought I would vent with you guys and man, it's tough. You can't win them all. You cannot win them all. Anyways, y'all love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Easter Sunday video is going to be dropping probably tomorrow. If not Wednesday, you're probably watching this on Monday. So stay on the lookout for the Easter dash video and I'll see you guys then.